So if you're moving to the Atlanta area and you're considering living in the city of Decatur, perhaps because they are known for their high quality schools, or maybe you just want that small town feel, one neighborhood in the city of Decatur that you might want to look into is Winona Park. It's a small little neighborhood. I'm going to walk all around it, tell you what there is to do in that neighborhood, or maybe what there isn't to do in that neighborhood. So stick around. We're talking all about living in Winona Park right now. Hey guys, my name is Molly and welcome back to my channel where I talk all about living here in the Atlanta area or in this case the city of Decatur today. Um, but thanks for joining me. Now if you want to follow along, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hey, if you're thinking about making a move, reach out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. would love to connect with you and see how I can help you make a smooth move here to the Atlanta area. But you guys, let's talk about Winona Park. This is a cute little neighborhood. I'm actually in the downtown city of Decatur right now um, because I want to show you what's very close to Winona Park, which is a, this city of Decatur square area with lots of restaurants. Because once you get into the neighborhood of Winona Park, there are not restaurants to be had. But first, let's put up a map so you can see where Winona Park is at. So you can see that Winona Park is a southern Decatur neighborhood. It is located just east of the Oakhurst neighborhood and to the west of Avondale Estates. And on the south side is Midway Woods. And of course, north of it is the downtown Decatur area. Now getting around from Winona Park, getting over to Midtown, that's about a 25 minute commute downtown. I'd say roughly around 23 minutes. The airport around 33 minutes and Buckhead will take you about 30 minutes. But I would add some time onto that if you're hitting rush hour traffic it can be brutal so I'd probably add on about 15 more minutes if you're hitting that rush hour traffic okay so now that we have that out of the way let's talk about Winona Park like I said not a lot in that neighborhood in terms of like commercial restaurants so I wanted to start out here in the Decatur Square in the the heart of the city of Decatur to show you what is just about 1.1 miles away I mean it could be a little bit further if you live on the southern part of the Winona Park neighborhood but it's you could walk here or take a quick bike ride or just drive your car over here but lots of restaurants over here in the Decatur Square area so let me take you around really quickly so you can kind of see what you get here um, I'm not going to cover it all you can go and watch my video of the down of city of Decatur vlog tour and you can get the full tour there but I'll give you a snapshot right now <laughs> So that is, in a nutshell, the downtown Decatur area. Like I said, just over a mile away from Winona Park, and that's where I'm going to head to next. I'm gonna hop in my car, just go a mile down the way, and let's get into the neighborhood. So let's go. it might be best to start off kind of in the center of this neighborhood and talk about the school that's where I'm walking to first is one of the elementary schools in the Winona, Winona Park neighborhood now a lot of people move to the city of Decatur 
in particular because of the highly ranked schools. And that's the same story for Winona Park. It is part of the city of Decatur school system. So you can imagine there are a lot of families that live here with little ones. Now, if you didn't see my city of Decatur vlog tour, I did mention their setup system for schools is a little bit different here in the city of Decatur than, you know, Atlanta public schools or the DeKalb public school. So the difference is, is basically city of Decatur ran out of building space for all of the kids that are zoned to this area. So they've kind of split up the elementary school into two buildings. So there's a K through two, and then there's a third through fifth grade. So I'm coming up on Winona Park Elementary. This is going to house the K through two students and then they're going to move over to the Tally Street Elementary School, which is a new building built in 2019. So it's basically a brand new building and that's just across South Columbia Drive. The great thing about both of these schools is that you could pretty much walk your kids to these schools if you wanted to. I would say the Winona Park Elementary is going to be a little bit easier for most folks than going over to the Tally Street Elementary School, but still it's doable if you are wanting to walk to school. But we're coming up on the school right now. It is a nice brick building and behind it there's a big field and just beyond that green field is a public playground called Winona Park. So if you're looking for a place to take your kids and get the wiggles out you can certainly go there. So that is the school system for the elementary schools and now the middle school that's going to be Beacon Hill that's just off of College Avenue and then across the street is the Decatur High School. So these schools are very well ranked so if you're looking for some of the top schools here in Georgia well City of Decatur has them. So that bridge that I just walked over, that's a little neighborhood shortcut if you're trying to walk from some of the western side streets over to the school. You can kind of cut through that uh, bridge area and hit the school or the park. So there's your little secret for Winona Park. Okay, so as I'm getting here into the neighborhood and I'm going to walk to my first home example, let's just talk about the homes. I mean, here you're going to find a lot of those 1930 beautiful brick bungalow style homes, uh, Tudor style homes, and you're going to get some new builds too where you're going to get some of those craftsman style homes, bigger, larger, but on average, the sales price right now in the Winona Park area is around $944,000. And that'll get you on average around 2,300 square feet. Of course, if you want one of those newer builds, you're gonna be paying definitely over the million dollar mark, probably anywhere from 1.2, the high on the high end 1.6. And actually I have an example of that coming up. On the low end, you can get something in the low 600K range, but it's gonna be wonky. It's gonna need some work, some elbow grease, so that kind of gives you your range. I feel like Winona Park has been a little bit of a secret. Like people don't think about it. They think of like the Oakhurst neighborhood, which is next door, which is definitely more popular because there is more walkability in that neighborhood. But stay tuned. I am going to show you what walking over to the Oakhurst village in the Oakhurst neighborhood looks like because that does offer you something to do. <coughs> you guys, I don't know what it's out in the air today, but it is making me cough and sneeze like crazy. But hey, that's springtime for you here in the Atlanta area. Okay, as I keep walking up this street, climbing this small hill, hopefully I don't go breathless as I am talking, but I'll give you kind of my, my quick pros and cons of Winona Park. Pros, obviously the schools. Another one is that if you kind of want that close-knit neighborhood, you can certainly get that feel here in Winona Park. It just feels cozy, intimate. You get to know your neighbors, very family friendly. So I love that about it. And it's very quiet. It's a very quiet neighborhood. So if you're seeking something like that, where it's tucked away from city life, but you can still access city things, uh, Winona Park definitely can give you that. But on the con side, I would say maybe the mo one disadvantage I see with Winona Park is it is kind of far from Target. <laughs> like the closest Target, I'm a Target shopper. So uh, the closest Target, you either have to go over to Edgewood or you have to go way up north over in the North Druid Hills to hit a Target. Now there is a Walmart. There's one kind of on the north side of the city of Decatur, or you can hit the one down south in Belvedere Park. But 
the Belvedere Park is a lot more transitional in style. So depending on your taste and your flavor, uh, you may not like that one as much. In fact, if you're wondering about grocery stores, the closest grocery stores, there's going to be a Kroger over in that Belvedere Park area, or you could go up to kind of that North Decatur Road, there's a Kroger there. There is a Publix just off of Ponce near Avondale Estates, and, and there's a Whole Foods over there off of the North Decatur Road as well. So there you go, there are your grocery stores. Okay, for my first home example, it is right behind me. This is a four bedroom, three bath, just over 1,800 square feet. It sold for $727,000. And it has kind of closed off rooms. It has a galley kitchen with granite countertops. The primary bedroom is carved out of the attic space, so you get kind of the funky angles there. Um, some of the bathrooms could probably use a little bit of an update, but a sweet house. And I would say on average, the lot size that you're gonna get in this neighborhood is around 0.2 acres, but a lot of beautiful brick homes. So if you're looking for something like that, you can definitely that, find that here. In fact, I was just walking down the street. This guy came out, hi Tom, if you're watching. Um, he came out and he's lived in this neighborhood for over 20 years, I can't remember now, 20 to 30 years. So he just renovated his home. Um, it's beautiful too <laughs> from the exterior of it. Um, but he obviously loves this area. He's been here a long, long time. Um, and I would just say everyone in this neighborhood is very friendly. So, okay, let me keep walking and I'm going to show you a few more home examples and some varying price points. Now to give you an example of something on the higher end, it's right behind me. This is a five bedroom, five bath just over 4,000 square feet with a two-car garage. I mean, this is like the dream layout that everybody wants. It sold for $1.6 million. It has, you know, a beautiful open kitchen living room layout. It has a screened-in deck. It has a full-finished basement for a game room. I mean, it crosses off a lot of people's wish list items. Now, the one downside, it is on this South Columbia Drive road, which is a busier road. So take note of that if you are looking at a house that is for sale on South Columbia Drive. It is on a busier road. Actually, right now there's not a lot of cars going by, but you know, especially during that rush hour time, this will be a lot more full. So just keep that in mind. If you see a price that looks a little bit better, well, and it's on South Columbia Drive now, that's probably why it is it's on a busy road. Although if you get like a nice big home like that, new build, yeah, you're gonna definitely pay for more, more for that because you're getting all the, the newest finishes, the desirable layout and that kind of thing. But like right behind me here, this is a home that sold for $625,000. And this is a much more smaller, just over 2,200 square feet, four bedroom and three bath, but it's got a very funky layout. So definitely there is a range of price points here off of South Columbia Drive. Now let me go up just a little further. Actually, I'm gonna hop across. There's like a nice paved sidewalk there. And I'm gonna talk about something just on the other side of Winona Park called Legacy Park. So if you're driving down South Columbia Drive, you're going to see this big expansive space with some older buildings. This actually has a lot of history to it. I won't go into the entire history, but this whole 77 acres got sold to the city of Decatur. I forgot what year, but probably in the last 15 years or so, don't quote me on that. Um, but they have got some grand master plans for this area to create a public space that will provide recreational amenities, community spaces, affordable housing. Um, it also serves as um, foster care and kind of like a safe place for those in need. So um, there's just exciting plans in the works. I have no idea when any of this will 
actually happen. But for now, you can definitely enjoy the green space. They have like 22 acres of walking trails. They've got like an orchard that you can visit. So um, if you're looking for something to do outside, just sk skip on over South Columbia Drive and you'll, you can take a walk around the Legacy Park area. Now, if you keep heading just a little further south past that Legacy Park, you're going to hit a trail that if you want to take a bike ride on or a walk or a run, just take a left on Takati Kerr Drive and then you're gonna hit this 1.22 mile pathway. It's called the East Decatur Greenway and it will take you right up into the Avondale Estates area, kind of on the, the western edge of that neighborhood. It'll take you by the Avondale Estates Marta Station and there's actually some breweries over there. So if you wanna get a little exercise in and then reward yourself with the beer, just head over to Avondale Estates. And I should mention right here on my right, this is a, a townhome complex. It is called Hargrove. This isn't technically in Winona Park, it's right on the edge of the neighborhood. But if you're looking for a newer townhome that was built in 2021, uh, this could be for you. There are beautiful finishes inside. They'll run you around the mid to high 700K price point. But like I said, if you're looking for a bike trail, you know, you can come on here. In fact, I was talking with my new friend, Tom, that lives in Winona Park. He's a big biker. And he said he likes to actually cut through Oakhurst and then connect over onto the trolley line, which is over kind of in the Kirkwood area. And then it eventually meets up with the belt line. But you could also head west and go on the Stone Mountain Trail and you can take that all the way over into the Stone Mountain area. Uh, Tom, he said that trail is actually pretty boring. So there you go. That's a review from a local. But let me walk a little bit of this trail so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think about Winona Park so far? Good, yes, give me a thumbs up. And like I said, if you are making a move to the Atlanta area and you need further help with your home search, make sure you reach out to me and we can set up a time to have a discussion about your needs and what you're looking for. So don't hesitate to reach out. All my contact information is down below. Contact me any way that floats your boat. Okay, one more home example. This one's kind of more on the average price point and it is right behind me here. This is a four bedroom, three bath, just over 2,800 square feet. It's over 976,500. It is beautifully updated inside. Now I will say the upstairs is kind of carved out of the attic so you get a little bit of those funky angles, but it's very well done. The kitchen has, is a galley style, but very updated with nice fresh lighting and cabinetry. So there you go. And I've, if you haven't noticed already, that all of the homes here basically have just a driveway. You're not gonna get a garage unless you're getting one of those newer craftsman style homes that have been built in the last five to 10 years. You might get a garage that way, but just like any typical in-town neighborhood, yeah, garages are kind of at a premium here. Now I'm gonna walk just up the street because I'm about to hit South Candler Street. That's on the western edge of Winona Park. I get this question asked all the time by people moving to Atlanta or currently live here and just don't know the area and they'll see a house, beautiful home, priced pretty well and attractive and it's located on South Candler Street. Now that road is a very busy road. It runs north to south so a lot of people take that to you know um, connect into the downtown Decatur area or over onto College Avenue so they can get on their way. So yes, that is a very busy road. So if you don't like being on a busy road, well, then you may not want to find a home on Candler Street. For other people, they may not care. Or, you know, if it's a beautiful home and it's priced well, maybe you can overcome Candler Street. So I'm going to walk up the street so you can see what that looks like and judge for yourself. All 
All right, so this is what South Candler Street looks like. It is going to be a very busy road. A lot of people use this to connect over into the downtown Decatur. I'm actually at the northern end of Winona Park, so I am only about an eight minute walk just across the railroad tracks, and I am right down in the city of Decatur. There's actually Kimball House right across the railroad tracks. They're a great seafood place, and there's an Opo Coffee that opened up probably last year, so that's a coffee place that you could go and enjoy because Winona Park, yeah, in the actual neighborhood, there are not a lot of restaurants or coffee shops. In fact, there aren't any at all. Um, caddy cornering from me, this is Agnes Scott College. This is an all girls college, a beautiful campus, but as you can see, a lot of cars driving through here, so you're gonna have to determine for yourself if you are okay with living on a busy road or not. Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious, would you be willing to live on a busy road if the price point was right and it met and the house met all of your needs? Let me know, I would be curious to find out. But okay, so to finish off my video, I'm gonna hop over just a mile away over to the Oakhurst Village because that is one other place that you could go if you're looking for something to eat or drink you could go over there and mooch off of your next door neighbors uh, amenities they've got a cute little downtown area they also have a public swimming pool so if you're looking to cool off in the summertime you could go over there to the pool over in their public park there so if you haven't seen my oakers vlog video you can certainly check it out on my channel but let me hop in my car drive over there next So like I said, if you are in Winona Park and you're looking for something to eat besides downtown city of Decatur, you can come over here into the Oakhurst Village area for another handful of places to eat like pizza, Mexican, barbecue, there's some Italian and a coffee shop. So there you go guys. That is my tour of the Winona Park neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed it today. I will say it is starting to feel kind of like summertime. I think it's like 88 degrees to get today. So I'm getting a glimpse into the summertime, but thanks for hanging with me. Like I always say, if you are thinking about making a move to Atlanta, whether that's tomorrow or next year, and you want to reach out and discuss more about your future home search, let me know. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Don't be shy. I can't wait to hear from you and see how I can help you out and make you have a smooth move here to the Atlanta area. Okay, you guys, if you see me out in the wild, make sure you say hello. I can't believe I ran into someone in Winona Park today, so that was pretty cool. But until next time, I'll see you around the neighborhood.